Welcome back. Today we are joined by Dave Newman with the Hearing Connection and we're going to continue our series on adapting to hearing aids. Dave, thanks for joining us today. You've been very great. How are you today? I'm doing great. And yourself? Good. Good, good. It's a lot warmer today. We like it. Mike's I doing know. a good job. I think so too. Yes, good job, Mike. Good job. So today we're talking about where it's the last part of our series on adapting to hearing aids because there's a lot of things you have to do whenever you get the hearing aids. That's not the final step. So uh, Dave, start us off with what's the first thing we should know about. Okay, so what we're doing now, now that you were wearing hearing aids, Basically, it's like anything that you purchase, you got to take care of it. So there's self-care and maintenance. So one of the things that sometimes our bodies produce is wax. Wax and hearing aids do not get along well, so there is some maintenance. And so there's cleaning procedures that need to be done um, that will help you keep hearing better. So it's not the same, but a lot of times, you know how you sometimes take your glasses off, you clean them, and you're like, oh, I can see so much better. Um, that is kind of where with hearing aids, if you change the wax filters, clean the tips out and you put them back in your ears, you're like, oh, well, that sounds better. Well, it's because they get dirty. They get, they get a little, they just don't work as efficiently when they're dirty. So, so cleaning them and uh, your, your hearing healthcare professional will help you, um, with that and show you how to do the proper cleaning procedures. Okay, awesome. Um, I was going to ask if that was something we do at home or we come in for, but it seems like if someone visits you, you can teach them how they can do it on their own. Yes. So, so cleaning them at home. Um, and then also what the other thing is you want to have regular follow-ups and checkups with your hearing care professional. So one of the things we do here is we basically about every four months have our patients come in and we look in their ears, we check their equipment out, make sure it's working properly, and we clean um, clean the uh, hearing aids and put them on the co computer, make sure all the software is up to date too. Because basically with the hearing aid, you have this little tiny computer on the back of your hearing aid or in your ear, and sometimes we need to make adjustments to that or make software updates. So regular checkup is very, very important. For sure, for sure. So we want to make sure that we're continuing to come in, making sure we're doing all the right things. What else do you have for us? Okay, patients and adaption to the hearing aids. So Mary Grace, are you a patient person? Um, not really. Okay, so that's why <laughs> we work together as a team. Because one thing about here, we basically, it is a, it's a group effort to make sure you're doing it. And you have to have patience and adapt. It takes about 30 days for your brain to acclimate to hearing aids. So just because you just can't pop them in and they work, sometimes we have to add more power as the time goes on and adjustments. And that's another reason um, it is important to come to have regular checkups and follow-ups and patience and good communications between your hearing care provider and, and yourself and also your spouse too. Both Patience works both ways. Your friends and family need to be patient and you need to be patient with them. Yes, everyone needs to be patient. Man, you're giving me something I need to work on, Dave. You, you without go. your hearing aids, work on some patience here. So that's actually really interesting. 30 days for your brain to acclimate to the hearing aids. I think that's something yes. that'll be new information for a lot of folks out there. So um, Dave, how can people get in contact with you at the Hearing Connection for hearing evaluation, help with hearing aids, all that jazz? Well, the best way to get a hold of me is actually just Google, um, and you can just type in the hearing connection. If people just want to call my phone number and make an appointment, that's great too. 816-273-0074, and um, we'll be happy to see people. Sounds great. Dave Newman with the Hearing Connection. Dave, thanks again for joining us. Thanks, Mary Grace. Of course. We'll be right back after a break. Stay with us.